going on everybody my name is mugs tv and welcome we have some awesome news for battlefield one the winter update is finally here and instead of making a super long drawn out video i'm just gonna cover the highlights the key points stuff i took away from all these patch notes and nitty-gritty things uh for you guys make it simplified and we're gonna have some fun background gameplay to go with this so highlights this is for the server side this has been asked for for a long long time server admins will now be able to kick slash drop the ban hammer on all the peoples they want to and um, some other things that go along with this prioritize access to servers for admins and n this isn't specifically for admins of a server but vote map is now going to be enabled on all the servers so you'll be able to vote at the end of the round for two maps I think these are huge huge things they added to the game I'm excited these are for server side all right, let's move. Like I said, I'm just going to bang these out. We're going to go and flow with all these, these facts and key points. And, yeah. So, there's been a ton of UI tweaks um, to make it better and faster. Because you, if you guys ever notice you're in-game, it's kind of laggy. So, hopefully, all these UI tweaks are going to help the game, improve the game, make it a little bit more seamless. What else do we got? We got weapon tweaks. Horizontal recoil on a ton of guns have been increased. Namely, um, Automatico, I saw, was a huge nerf, but they also nerfed LMGs across the board because they, they seen last patch they were overbuffed, so they're kind of recalling that a little bit. So, along with the horizontal recoil on the Automatico, Hell Regal, uh, 1909 Storm, M1909 Storm, the Matson Storm, the MG15 Storm, the Bar Storm. So, a lot of Storm got nerfed. Factory and the Hell Rig got nerfed, but um, so they're increasing the recoil on some of these overpowered guns, as I use air quotes. Uh, so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out and how it affects the close quarters capabilities of the guns in the long range. So, yeah, this is cool. Um, but anyway, buffed horizontal recoil on some of the medic rifles, so met some of the you know medic rifles are going to have a little bit of uh, less horizontal recoil. Um, it's interesting one, the low weight variant of some of the LMGs and guns are, is going to be getting a buff. So it's going to be interesting to see how the low weight variants of some of these guns play in, play into the game and see how well they do. They haven't been very good before, so we'll see how that buff is going to affect everything. Only two snipers have been buffed. Um, they buffed the martini. Oh, thank God. So they buffed the damage slightly on the martini. I'm not sure if this is going to make it so you can one-shot to the upper arm. I think it probably will. Uh, because if you noticed, at certain distances with the martini before, you would get 90, 90 damage hit markers with it. And that means you hit it in the upper arm. Even if the chest was behind the upper arm, you wouldn't get the chest shot. You would just get the hit marker for the arm shot. So it's going to be interesting to see how the martini will play. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about that. And the other sniper buff, 1895 Trench. Not even a sniper. Doesn't have a scope, but um, it's going to have a better two-shot range for when you're using the 1895 Trench, um, either on the cavalry or off on your just regular scout class. So next up, what do we have? Nades. Impact nade slightly down from uh, 80 damage now to 72 max. Still going to probably be amazing. I think it's my go-to nade. Gas nade, anyway, has got nerfed. Praise the Lord. Can I get a amen? I'm shaking my hand in the air. But the gas nade duration down from 22 seconds to 15 seconds, so you will no longer die and kill people millions of years later while your gas is just sitting on the floor. Ecstatic about that. I don't know if it's enough to make the gas nade spam go away, but anything is better than nothing. We'll see how that works. Next up, uh, what do we have? Cavalry units won't kill you from 20 feet away. That should have been self-explanatory. <laughs> that's that's it. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. I, I, I've seen it where a cavalry unit is coming at you, and all of a sudden he looks like he has a 20-foot long sword, and just you're dead. Or it doesn't even look like he is. You're just dead. It's like the force. But that's not going to happen anymore. Um, what else? Super excited about the slug round shotgun buff. If you guys don't know, I am a huge proponent of the shotgun, of the slug round shotgun in particular. So they're making that more accurate. The slug will have a higher velocity and also can one shot, uh, one shot to the gut 
and upper arm within eight meters. So not just the chest, it's gonna one shot to the gut now. So that's huge. And chest shots got increased to 11 meters. So that gun is, I, I feel like I'm gonna be a kid in candy store with that thing. It's like a mini sniper. Um, next up, they added ribbons. So if you guys remember from Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, they had the little ribbons at the end around those little cute little things. Yeah, they're back. I'm excited. I love those things. It, seeing though, like, I have usually by 40 or 50 ribbons at a vendor around in Battlefield 4. I don't know if it's going to work like that in this game, but we'll see how that works. Uh, so they're going to be 20 currently. Uh, they're going to give you 300 XP, and I would assume they're going to add more in the future. So, yeah. Next up, um, the Elite Codices have been added and what these are um, so after you get 500 kills with a certain gun uh, you will get an elite codice a fancy little codex that will award you 25,000 bonus XP and you'll get a cool little like emblem for it in the in your your game or something how I don't know how they're gonna show that but that's gonna be awesome I'm just excited about the XP boost because going into our last little bullet tip of what I think are the key points for Battlefield 1 Winter Update, the class ranks have all been increased to rank 50 instead of 10. So now you can get some new flair on your dog tags as you progress. You're going to have, you know, it's maybe bronze, silver, gold. But all these XP things, I, I'm already max level, so now I'll have something else to work forward to, look forward to leveling up. Anyway, so those were the quick rundowns of the major, major things I took away from this. Uh, again, they have tweaked a lot of stuff, fixed a lot of bugs, so and um, they mess with spectator mode. So we'll see. We'll see how this uh, plays out, and I know they're going to keep updating this, and this is kind of a, a little, little patch before we get the nice fatty DLC of that uh, that French army stuff so let me know what you guys think of this video and I just recorded this super quick so I'm sorry for all the uncoordinated stiff but have a wonderful rest of your day my name is Mugs V leave a comment below if you like this stuff and I will talk to y'all later peace out Boop.